So I've got um, this thing. This is the uh, Digital Audio Workstation Buddy, specifically the BBC version, of course, because why would you get any other version? Um, comes complete with a genuine, authentic, real BBC sticker on the top. So I need to check now for uh, the content checklist in uh, this video. Is it local? Well, yeah, I'm here in my own house, so I'm pretty local. Is it interesting? Probably not. Is it relevant? Not even slightly. Is it useful? It's useful to me. It's not going to be useful to anyone else, but I'm videoing it anyway. Basically, we've got, um, it's a sort of audio routing thing. Uh, input one, input two, they're split into left and right. Input three, which is a five pin XLR um, stereo XLR through a single uh, port there, left and right. And then input four is RCA. We've got some little recessed gain adjusters for all of these as well. We can switch between L and M for large and mammoth. And then we've got some outputs, clean feed output, dirty feed, I mean main mix output, some kind of serial port, no idea what that does. Um, and then LS live studio, I think, output and CF, probably clean feed output so I think these are RCA's are just sort of doubling these XLR outputs and then we've got a 12 volt power jack there and that's the bit that I want to have a look at because um, seems like thing won't power on at the moment so we're going to open it up and take a look at why this is it's made in England by PASS which stands for professional audio sales and service that's their logo on the front there their address is 166-1A Melton Road, Rearsby, Leicestershire, and that's their phone number. I'm not sure that we're going to get anything out of phoning them, partly because it's bank holiday today, uh, partly because there's, uh, you know, no one's going to work at the moment in the lockdown, but most of all because I don't think the company exists anymore. I've tried looking them up online, there's absolutely nothing about them at all on the internet and they don't seem to have any kind of presence in the business world anymore so i'm pretty sure that that company is now defunct does not exist and uh there's very very little to be gained by trying to phone them up or go to their office or anything or really sort of try and contact them any in any way so i'm basically on my own with this and i'm just going to have a look at it get um some tools now, I've got a screwdriver in case I need it, but it looks like most of the um, side uh, attachments for the housing are hex key style screws, so I just want to find a hex key which will fit in there, and I've got it right first time, which is a good omen. So let's uh, take that out. Uh, for anybody who knows me and is wondering where I am, I'm upstairs in my little office, which is the, the little sort of screws are filthy there. Yeah. Um, I'm upstairs in my little upstairs office spare room thing. I'm not down in the studio because, uh, frankly, I get better natural light in here um, and it doesn't get so hot with all the equipment running in the studio all the time. Let's loosen these off now. These obviously haven't been taken out of here for a very long time. They're coming out with a lot of grime and shit all over them. If you pardon the expression. So, oh, look at that. Nasty. Probably want to give those a little wipe down before they go back in. Here's the third one coming out. go and the fourth screw is not uh, an allen key style one the fourth one is there it's got this little cable clip on it there which is obviously to um it's been replaced and had this uh screw put in so this screwdriver is too big i need a smaller screwdriver uh, 
a good start already, not having any small screwdrivers upstairs. I think those are all down in the studio. Actually, this one might do it. Let's try that. There we go. So. This screw seems quite a bit longer than the hex ones. Not sure what that means, but I guess we'll find out. Still not coming out of there. There we go. Now it feels like it's a bit looser there. There it is. So stick that over there with the others. It is considerably longer than the other three. So I'm sure it feels good about itself right now. There's quite a few more hex screws on the front panel there, kind of recessed into uh, the panelling. Now the top piece is not going to come off. The top housing is not going to release unless I take those off as well by the looks of things. So there we go. They seem pretty loose. These feel like they've been removed quite a bit more recently than the side ones. Not sure why that would be. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe somebody else has been looking at it recently. They're the same. I was going to keep them separate from the side ones in case I've got to remember which goes back where. But they all look the same size and style. And now the top of the housing is sort of lifting up as I move this so that implies that this is the last one of the set of ones nearly dropped it nearly lost it there we go and now there we go take the uh, top off and as ever when you take your top off you're exposed and that is the insidey bit looks um good nice and neat um Manufactured date of 2001 in there by those things. And then we've got volume pots on the inside, the front uh, mic XLR input there, the front um, jack sockets, two more volume controls, a couple of little uh, switches, and our um, Little circuit board for our VU meter LEDs on the on the back. All the various uh, inputs and outputs in there. Serial port and the thing that we want to look at, which is the power there. So we've got a 12 volt um, power jack. Don't know exactly what the uh, polarity or the current draw is of this thing just by looking at it here. So I'm going to do a little experiment and I'm going to use, uh, excuse, reaching across there. I've got a couple of little 12 volt adapters here that I found. This one might fit it. I guess we'll find out. Nope, that is not a good fit. don't know what that's, oh, it's for some kind of USB hub, it says on it. Get rid of that. This one, though, is some kind of universal thing. I can adjust the uh, just that up to 12 volts because that's what it tells me on the back here is what we need. So I've got that pointing at 12 volts now and it's got a little uh, sort of pin arrangement on the end there and it comes with a whole load of different uh, power jacks. Open the bag, take those out, try and find one which looks like it might fit. Oh, look at that, first try. Now I've got some, uh, got some yellow ones as well. No. See if there's any others, because if there's a possibility of more than one, 
looks like this is the only that's most of these look like just visibly way too small that that's definitely not going to be it so um yeah in general feel like this is the only one that's going to fit it so let's stick that on the uh universal adapter device and um get it plugged in plug this in under the desk where the power extension lead run is so uh, I have to call under the desk for a second unplug something that's not currently in use bring this up here and now there it is the power the power light is lighting up but it's an odd thing no it was lighting up a moment ago now it's decided not to I've turned it it's obviously camera shy it's weird now the uh, now the natural light is uh, not such a good thing in here. That was on a moment ago. No, it's not doing anything. Very strange.